Hi and welcome back to uh, another review from Glove Tech Reviews. Um, today we're going to be checking out um, a couple of new wallets uh, from Exeter uh, who have kindly sent over two products for me to have a look at. Um, so that's what we're going to have a look at today. Um, so, as you can see here we've got two, two boxes, uh, two different products. Um, so what we're going to have a look at first, we'll have a look at this one first. Uh, we'll just pop this one off to one side for now. Um, so this is uh, one of Exeter's um, latest range wallets. Um, this is uh, an AirTag wallet, this particular one. Um, so just sort of having a look initially at the packaging, really good branding um, without a doubt. So really good packaging, uh, so it makes a great uh, sort of gift, um, sort of first impressions. Um, so when we first open it up, let's have a look at what you actually get inside. So, so what you get inside uh, the packaging uh, is obviously the uh, the wallet, which comes wrapped uh, like so. So we take that out. We'll just pop that off to one side so it can get in the way. Okay. So, the wallet. Um, so this is the extra um, AirTag wallet. Uh, this particular one is the um, Napa Black uh, colour um, that they have available. Um, they do also have it available in a uh, classic brown as well, uh, if that's the type of thing uh, that you're into. But like I said, this one's the uh, the Napa Black, uh, really good branding. Uh, you've got the extra logo just in the, uh, in the far corner there, um, which uh, looks really nice, clean, minimalistic. Um, this is more like a traditional type wallet, um, so it is leather, um, but it is obviously, with it being a traditional wallet, um, although it's designed to be like a traditional wallet, it is a lot more compact. Um, one thing I have sort of noticed though, what I would say is the, um, as you can probably see there, the cover doesn't seem to stay completely flat. Um, I anticipate this will probably give over a bit of time. So when you start sitting on it, uh, it'll probably be um, it'll probably start flattening um, and sit a lot more flush. Um, but um, but I think maybe if uh, Exeter were to look to improve on this in some way to kind of keep it um, to keep it flat, I would maybe look to introduce some sort of magnet maybe inside here that it just sort of sticks shut. Um, and stay so sort of short. Not a big deal. It's just a, a minor thing thing that could have uh, potentially improved um, So that when it's obviously on the table, it does actually sit and doesn't sort of sit and, and bounce and flap around um, But yeah, not not a big deal uh, One thing I will say is uh, with it being obviously a leather um, it's got a real awesome uh, premium feel to it um, Really good with it being that uh, that leather feel um, slightly padded as well um, so yeah really really good um, specification wise um, the wallet does hold um, from the website um, between 1 to 12 cards um, and notes um, the card holder element which I'll show you in a moment um, does have a capacity of a uh, maximum of 6 non embossed cards um, or you can have like a combination of uh, sort of between 4 to 5 uh, embossed slash sort of non-embossed cards depending on the thickness of obviously the cards that you're using. Um, there is a quick card access at the click of a button um, which I'll uh, demonstrate shortly. Um, it's also got RFID blocking so it's going to protect from sort of wireless theft um, scanning uh, units. Um, if this was in your pocket somebody can't sort of use a, a scanner and scan across the wallet to try and obtain your card details. Uh, so it's going to give you that added uh, security as well. And then one of the main features of this particular wallet is the uh, the integrated AirTag holder, um, which is just here, um, which enables you to put um, an AirTag in there. Obviously, it doesn't come with an AirTag. That's something you're going to need to buy um, from Apple themselves. Um, but the fact that this is uh, is built in um, is a is a fantastic sort of feature to have. Um, so how does it work? Um, so I'm just going to pop this off to the other side. So um, 
the initial it is a traditional type of wallet um, with that just a little bit extra. So as I said earlier on, uh, it's designed to uh, to fit um, your cards in this section here, and any sort of you can quickly eject all your cards via this button here, which is really really easy to use. Um, just a simple squeeze of the button, and up pops all the cards. So at the moment, um, extra have obviously included some demo cards um, that are just inside here, um, but really really good it works open or closed so even if the wallet's closed um, squeeze of the trigger push um, it works um, single-handedly uh, just simple push uh, of the trigger really quick easy access uh, and nice and smooth um, very addictive if i'm brutally honest uh, so if you're one of these people who like to uh, sort of click around with fidget toys etc um, this is probably the next best thing um, really, really, uh, really, really smooth action um, and, and works really, really well. Um, as far as sort of putting um, cards inside, um, what I'll do is just uh, sort of demonstrate with my own cards. Um, so at the moment, I've got some um, of my own sort of cards here. Obviously, I'm not going to show you um, the actual contents, uh, what's actually printed on the cards for obvious reasons, um, but I've got a couple of cards here. Um, of my own, um, some of which are embossed. So I've got one, two, three cards that uh, have got uh, numbers embossed on them. Um, one that is just a flat card. Again, it's a credit card though. And then I've got like a door access card here. Um, so if I collate them together um, and then just simply slot them into the top like so. Um, again, squeeze of the trigger and out the old pot. Uh, really really easy to use um, and it fans them out perfectly uh, as you can see you can kind of go through each card um, and select the one that you want um, again works open as well um, so just squeeze in push down um, and up, up, comes, uh, up comes all the cards um, easy to access um, just a little bit of tip as well if you wanted to kind of see uh, and select each card individually um, you can just simply push down if you wanted to get to the middle card for argument's sake just simply push the cards down until you eventually get to the one I'm not obviously going to do that here um, for obvious reasons um, but yeah really really good uh, smooth action good trigger operation uh, on that uh, no issues at all um, like I say this particular wallet has also got additional slots uh, on the inside so it's, it's wrapped in, in leather throughout uh, and then you've got this elastic and then a couple of additional slots here for any sort of additional cards that you might have. So again, when I sort of use uh, these demo cards um, that Extra have um, provided, you can just simply use them uh, just to kind of show you really uh, that you've got an additional slot there, um, as well as the uh, additional slot uh, to the front as well. Okay. Um, you've also got a cash strap here as well built in. Um, and this particular one is designed, you can either use it again to uh, put additional cards in. So if you want to expand the capacity, because obviously the main compartment is only going to cover so many. Um, but if you want any additional cards, you can slot it on, under here. Um, or what its main purpose is for, uh, storing bills um, and notes. Um, so I've got a £10 note here. Um, and all you would simply do is just slot that under there. And then you can just close the wallet like that um, and you're good to go. Um, anybody that's sort of wondering is, is this going to slide out or fall out when it's uh, sort of in your hand or in your pocket and end up in your pocket or anything like that um, very unlikely um, simply because um, on the inside of this um, strap there are um, tiny little dots um, and I'll just show you that there so if you can see on camera there um, just inside there are tiny little rubber dots uh, that run on the inside of this strap, okay? Um, and what those dots do, they're made of silicon, so they will just basically stick to anything uh, that you put underneath there um, and just keep it secure. Um, so they're not, nothing's gonna slide out of there uh, without a doubt, okay? Um, and then obviously onto the reverse um, is a bit of a uh, multi-function uh, here. So the obvious thing you've got here is the, uh, the air tag. Um, option here. So I've got my air tag here. So in order to actually put the air tag in, um, it is a little bit fiddly, um, but it is obviously designed to securely hold uh, the air tag. 
Um, so all you simply do is take your air tag um, and just slot it into the little groove. So it just slots in like so. Okay. And once that's in, um, it doesn't render that because that is an actual pocket. Uh, so it doesn't render that pocket useless either. Um, but what you do need to do is in order to put any sort of and use that feature and use that slot uh, with any cards, uh, what you do need to do is just make sure you lift, uh, you lift this section away um, and then you can use that as an additional card slot as well. Um, so it, it keeps it completely useful um, and you can still utilize that uh, without it interfering with the, uh, with the air tank. Um, so really, really functional, uh, cracking product, um, really good feel, really good build quality. Um, and like I say, uh, as far as traditional wallets is concerned, um, if that's what you're into, and this is the type of thing you like, um, then um, it, it's, it's a really good option. Um, it's, it's still really compact uh, for what it is, considering you've got an air tag on there, um, and then obviously the option of putting cards uh, money uh, and then having spare additional um, slots in there as well um, and then what I'm just going to do is just show you here so um, so in this at the moment I've got my uh, access so what this basically does the card that I use here um, is um, a card to access my work building uh, or the door so normally I have to tap that against the uh, the access point um, and then it will un unlock the door. So what I typically would do is um, if I'm at work, I will just through the day, I will at the start of the day rather, I'll just slot that card inside of there um, and leave it like that for the day whilst I'm going in and out of the building. Um, and then it's just easy for me to quickly access it um, throughout the day. So whilst I'm at work, I can just open it up, tap against the reader, close it back up, back in the pocket. And then once I've finished for the day, um, I can just take that back out um, and then just slot that back in because um, I no longer need it at that point. Um, so really good feature to have, um, and you know, that, that ability uh, to be able to do that. So that's just a bit of a pro tip. Um, the other thing, what I will say about the air tag holder as well um, is um, the stitching and everything around it. There's no worries of that ever falling out or coming out. Um, it is well locked in there. Uh, one thing I will say is if you've got the air tag put in, in this way, uh, so that's shiny side up, um, that way if you try and activate the, um, the audible noise uh, in order to track your wallet, um, what I would say is this way up it's a little bit quieter than if you were to put it in the other way around so that it's white side up. Um, so it's just a bit of a tip, personal preference, whether you want the Apple logo showing. If you do, it's a little bit quieter. If you're not bothered, turn it the other way around, you'll find that it's, uh, it's a lot louder uh, when you come to actually ping the tag um, and try and uh, listen for where it is. Um, so it's just one thing uh, to be aware of. Let's uh, now move on to the other wallet uh, that we've got. Taking a look at the second one then. Um, again, coming in, it's really premium um, packaging. Uh, it looks awesome. Uh, shiny extra logos on the front there. And this one uh, opens up and slides out, like so, to reveal uh, the wallet. Um, so this particular one is the, uh, the graphite uh, color, uh, but there are 12 uh, other colors that you can kind of choose from as well. Um, so you've got a, a lot of uh, choice as far as kind of um, you know, mixing it up to your uh, your sort of desires and your taste uh, as to which colour you kind of um, you you would fancy. Um, so, taking it out of the packaging, then. Um, so, this is the uh, the actual wallet. Um, again, it's basically it's, it's pretty much it's the internals of the uh, of the other wallet that we looked at. Obviously, the other wallet's got the the leather enclosure. Um, this is obviously hasn't, this is designed to be as, as small as it possibly can be. Um, but I do absolutely love these wallets, uh, purely because they're so compact, they're so thin. Um, so you've got the extra brand in just up in the corner there, um, just along there. Um, and uh, again, real premium, um, premium feel. Amazingly thin, 
um, especially if you've got sort of skinny jeans on um, or you want to kind of put it in your front pocket, something like that. Um, so again, it runs uh, and operates in exactly the same way um, with the mechanism with the push button. So you just squeeze uh, and the cards just pop out like so. Um, so again, highly addictive again. Um, and again, they just, uh, just drop out like so. So these are obviously just demo cards. Um, the difference with this particular one um, is the uh, additional front plate, the what we call the expansion plate. Um, so what this is designed to do is basically enable you to add additional cards um, to the front of the wallet. So what you would normally do, so if I again get my cards um, that we had here um, and slot those in like so. So they slot in, so that's my main cards uh, all in there. Uh, and then what I can do from there is I can then take an additional card, so I use my driving license for example, and all this basically does is slots underneath um, and enables you to uh, expand from there. And what this, is, this will do is obviously, because it's an elastic uh, band that goes around here, um, it will just obviously stretch and this plate will expand up uh, the more cards that you put in. Um, so it is advisable that you kind of try and keep the cards down to a minimum because obviously the more you put under this plate, uh, the thicker the wallet's going to become. Um, so again, um, it's just something to uh, to consider, but it, you've got the option there to uh, to utilise that if you want to, um, or you can rock uh, rock it without the actual um, plate. Um, so you could look to remove uh, the band, like so. Take the plate off. Um, and then just either use it like that um, on its own uh, or pop the band on, um, whichever kind of suits your um, your feel for that day. Um, once you've got the band on there, um, again, you've got the option to uh, utilize that to pop things like um, your notes underneath, um, door access card if you want to obviously do that again, same thing. Um, one thing I would say though is I wouldn't probably recommend putting any bank cards um, just under this strap in this in this condition this way around. Um, I would always utilise uh, this plate because this plate is designed uh, and is um, RFID blocking as well. Um, so if you're going to put cards um, to prevent them being scanned, um, then it's worthwhile using that plate and popping your cards underneath to give you that added protection. Um, and make sure um, that you're not going to get to potentially your, your card numbers uh, stolen uh, and used at a later date. Um, so again, a really good product, um, really good um, wallet, really, really compact and, and it's just got an amazing feel to it, um, real high quality. Again, this band, uh, as I mentioned with the other one, um, it's got the, uh, the rubber um, the rubber dots on the back, uh, which prevent anything sliding. So if I, it's easy to show on here. Um, but if I turn that round, you can probably see um, the little dots uh, running all the way around, um, made of silicon. So it just makes sure, uh, even right down to this little uh, plate here, um, with the uh, the extra E uh, logo, it's, that is also made of rubber. Uh, as well so again it just stops you you money sliding out um, it's going to keep everything together uh, including the uh, the back plate etc um, so um, yeah really really good product again um, I, I I can't really uh, uh, knock either of them to be fair um, it ultimately comes down to um, which product um, suits suits you more um, are you looking for something that's um, more compact and um, that's easy to put in your in your sort of jeans pocket front pocket whatever it might be um, or are you looking for something a little bit more traditional um, it's um, it's your decision to kind of make um, the only thing with this one obviously you've got no option to put an air tag uh, on it however they do do uh, this particular um, wallet with an air tag option um, which is on the actual band that goes around so you can actually put an air tag uh, on the front and um, so just have a check of the website really just have a look at that because there are obviously numerous different options available um, but yeah again um, like I say 
compact size wise, um, obviously there's a big difference between these two um, as far as the thickness is concerned. But like I say, this piece is uh, basically this um, from the inside of the leather wallet. Um, it's, it's just obviously removed from the casing. Um, but you, you get an extra slots, uh, extra pockets. You're getting that leather feel, that real traditional feel uh, of a wallet. Um, and then obviously the built-in air tag and a couple of additional pockets, but it, it ultimately does the same thing. Um, with just uh, different different features and different facilities uh, available. Um, so, I mean, as far as how it kind of stacks up against competition, sort of size-wise, um, here's one wallet that I was using previously, um, one that I have used. Um, again, different, um, different footprint. So this is probably a little bit more comparable to this one. But again, it still dwarfs uh, the the uh, the extra version. Is uh, in my opinion far superior. Um, it's uh, it's a really compact wallet, um, but it's just to kind of give you a bit of an idea. Um, here's another one that I was kind of um, rocking before as well. Um, similar sort of thing. It's got the AirTag holder, um, probably of a similar thickness. I would suggest. I would probably say the extra is slightly smaller. To be fair. Um, as far as um, thickness is concerned, but it is um, obviously a, a different kind of footprint uh, that you've got on that particular one. And then you've got right down to um, whether you want to look at uh, or whether you've been using uh, a real traditional type wallet, um, which is this one here, which is just a, a typical um, bifold wallet, um, which again is a leather. Um, so if that's what you're kind of into, um, you've got options available to you um, as far as the different type of materials that extra obviously provide um, and which one kind of um, fits the bill more for you. Um, so do I recommend it? Um, absolutely, uh, without a shadow of a doubt. Either or to be fair, uh, depending on your, your, um, your take and as to which one you kind of prefer. They're both uh, are really, really good products. Uh, I, can't, uh, I can't knock them at all. Uh, really good quality. Um, you are clearly getting um, what you uh, getting good value for money. Um, what I would say as well, though, at the moment, um, Exeter have got a Father's Day sale on. Um, so at the moment, um, I have a code uh, which I'll try and pop up on screen. Um, but if you enter the code GloveTech um, in the um, discount code on the website, um, you'll get a total of 35% off your order. Um, I'll try and put the link in the description as well. Um, so for Father's Day, um, you'll get a total of 35% off uh, your order if you use my, use my, um, my discount code. So well worth doing, save yourself a few quid. Um, be a cracking gift for as a, as a Father's Day gift. Uh, really. um, I would certainly be massively impressed if I received something like this um, as a as a uh, as a gift for Father's Day. Um, it's a really good uh, a really good product. Um, so thank you ever so much everybody for for watching. I really do appreciate it. As always, if you can give us a like um, and ideally subscribe. Uh, and if you've got any sort of comments, anything you want to ask me. Uh, by all means, drop it in the comments um, and I will come back to you with an answer. Um, thanks again and uh, we'll hopefully see you in the next one. Cheers.